when they called out her name at graduation. Ladies and gentlemen, Isabella is accompanied by her guide dog O'Hara, who has attended every class at Curry College. How about a hand for O'Hara? It filled my heart. She came to every class with me and slept underneath my desk. The journey was amazing from when she first came. O'Hara is my guide dog. When I was about six years old, I started losing my eyesight. And so when I was in high school, I started working towards getting a guide dog. When I met O'Hara the first time, I was very excited, but also nervous. I didn't know if she was going to like me, but she came over, rested her head on my lap, and I knew then that we were gonna to be together forever. Wait. Nice. Her job is essentially to be my eyes. Her left. I was a biology major in college and I needed to go to science labs. So I wanted to make sure that O'Hara was wearing personal protective equipment. I bought her some dog goggles, which I called doggles. And she wore boots, just like people wear gloves. And that's how she became the goodest girl in STEM. O'Hara was definitely the messy roommate at college, but she was the best roommate I could have asked for. She distracted me when I was getting a little stressed out. And we would play or we would take breaks and go for walks. She reminded me that I wasn't alone and that she was always there with me. and just her being there in class, guiding me to my chair, making sure that I sit down safely and then tucking herself between my feet was probably something that I'll never forget. So graduation was a surreal moment. The college said that they would recognize her at graduation. I got to move her tassel on her little cap and gown from the right to the left and officially have her graduate. It was rewarding for both O'Hare and I because I was like, we did it, we finally did it.